on CBS FM, the Golden 101.1. A bonus hit from August the 8th, 1970. And we got more of them, too, like John C. Fogarty and the Credence Clearwater Revival. Mark Severs from Bobby J. and the Top 20 Countdown, August 8th, 1970. Looking out my back door on the Golden 101.1. CBS FM remembers the summer of 1970. It should be illegal for Jeff Maisie to be in the studio. You know that? He gets me laughing, and then I, I forget what I'm doing. Uh, Flaming Ember, 1970, a bonus hit from August the 8th, 1970. That's what we're doing uh, this weekend for you today. For Bobby J., it's Mark Summers. And one more bonus hit. Here's Tony Orlando and Dawn from August 8th, 1970. Candida. Stars won't come out. I can do to Tony Lando and Don. Taking you back 22 years ago today to August 8, 1970. Some bonus hits from uh, that week on CBS FM, the Golden 101. Here's Rare Earth. Your love is fake. Rare Earth, I know I'm losing you on CBS FM, the Golden 101.1. With the top 20 oldies countdown. Summers for Bobby J. Counting down the music of August 8th, 1970. A bonus hit from that week, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Well, as you can tell by the bonus hits we've already played for you from August the 8th of 1970, this was a week that had all kind of music in it. It's going to be an interesting countdown today. That's Crosby, Stills, Nash, and uh, I almost said Young, but he wasn't in that one. Uh, Teach Your Children on CBS FM, the Golden 101.1. We're going to begin the actual countdown of the top 20 hits of August 8th, 1970 next with a lady. Well, this little lady, I tell you, she was the ultimate flower child. And uh, we'll kick it off with song number 20 coming up next. <laughs> Now begin the actual countdown of the top 20 hits of August 8th, 1970, from 22 years ago today. Well, at number 20, this singer from Queens would find her greatest success in 1971, a year later, with Brand New Key. That would go all the way to number one for three weeks for her. But this year, August 8th, 1970, she had a hit with this song. It was a debut hit, and it peaked at number six on Buddha Records, moving up five positions to position number 20, Lay Down, Candles in the Rain. This is Melanie. You know, 22 years later, I still have no idea what she's talking about, but, but it sounds good, doesn't it? That's Melanie, number 20, on the top 20 countdown from August 8, 1970 on CBS FM, the Golden 101.1 with Mark Summers. This British group appeared on the charts in late in uh, 1969 with a song called Early in the Morning. This was their uh, follow-up hit to that one. This one would peak at number five. It was on uh, Page Records, and it moves up six notches this week to number 19. Here's Vanity Fair. It's in a ride on the Golden 101. Wonder Vanity Fair hitching a ride, 1970. 22 years ago today, we're bringing them back for you. The top 20 oldies countdown, the music of August 8th, 1970 on the Golden 101.1 with Mark Summers. And at position number 18, well, here's another one-hit wonder group for you, a product of San Francisco and the peace love movement of the late 60s. They went on into 1970 with this song, taking it to number 14 on Columbia Records. This week, it drops down four positions. This is Pacific Gas and Electric with Are You Ready? <laughs> Top 20 hits of August 8th, 1970. Here's another one-hit wonder. This singer was one of the original and longest-running cast members of the musical Hair. He would take this song to number 11 on Steed Records, dropping two positions to number 17 this week. Robin McNamara on 101.1.
number 17 on the August 8th, 1970 countdown. The top 20 hits from that date. That's Robin McNamara and Lay a Little Eleven on Me on CBS FM, the Golden 101.1. That's still a good sentiment even today. Uh, it's Mark Summers with a countdown today. Hey, listen, here's a debut hit from... Uh, from the only top 20 hit from a soul singer raised in Brooklyn. He would play the leading role in the Broadway production of Hair for two uh, years, and he would take this song to number eight. Again, it was on Columbia Records, too. Here's Ronnie Dyson. I love the title of this. If you let me make love to you, why can't I touch you? Think about it. <laughs> I don't know either. You know, I was kidding about the title of that song. It is kind of strange, isn't it? If you let me make love to you, why can't I touch you? Well, the guy who wrote that song was a guy by the name of C.C. Uh, Courtney. Well, he is a guy by the name of C.C. Courtney. And C.C. Uh, Courtney was the program director of WNOE when I was in New Orleans. And I worked for C.C. I was his uh, music director and assistant program director. And... Uh, and everything C.C. said was just as confusing as, as the title of that song. <laughs> he was one of the most creative and unique, and I'm using the unique in place of strange, uh, unique people I have ever known in my life. You know those little, uh, those little um, things in Reader's Digest where they said the most interesting character you ever met? Uh, C.C. would have to be right up in the top two or three with me. Uh, but a great guy, but uh, just a little <clears throat> left of center there, you know? Anyway, that's uh, Ronnie Dyson debuting in the top 20 this week at number 16 the top 20 hits of August the 8th, 1970 on the Golden 101.1 with Mark Summers and CBS FM Sports. Guess what? The Mets lost today to the Cubbies. Hey, they gave it a good shot. They, they played a good game. Uh, this was uh, in Chicago at Wrigley Field on national TV, and they always seem to lose on national TV. But they seem to lose on local TV a lot lately, too. The final score, 4-3, to three, the Cubs over the Mets. And the Yankees lost to the Bo Sox at the stadium by a score of 4-2. to two. Coming up next, we're going to get up to song number 15 at uh, Jump Stuff. 15 big positions. It was number 30 last week, so it's debuting in the top 20 this week. From the Peach State, Georgia, the Godfather of Soul is up next. He first became a force in the music world in 1956 when he hit with the R&B uh, hit, Please, Please, Please. Now, this particular song was his 12th top 20 hit. It peaked at number 15 on King Records. And as we said, it's our biggest jumper this week, hopping into the uh, top 20 at position number 15. It's up next after a look at the weekend 101 weather. Hey, mostly cloudy, warm, and humid scattered shower activity, the overnight low in the upper 60s, and tomorrow, your Sunday, cloudy with showers, a thunder showers likely and a high in the low 80s. Monday's outlook, early morning clouds, afternoon sunshine with a high in the mid-80s. Right now, 73 degrees in New York City on CBS FM, song number 15 from the godfather of soul, James Brown. Get up, get on up. Yeah, James Brown could take, uh, you know, he could take three words and make 12 songs out of them. Get up, I feel like a sex machine on CBS FM, the Golden 101.1. James at number 15 this week. At number 14, moving up three notches, a song written by Neil Young. This song was in response to the tragic events that took place at Kent State University in June of 1970. It was the fourth top 20 hit for this quartet. It peaked at number 14 on Atlantic Records. Crosby Stills, Nash, and Neil Young, too. Number 14, moving up three notches this week into the top 20. And we're doing the top 20 oldies of August 8, 1970. The top 20 hits from 22 years ago today on New York's oldie station, CBS FM. I'm here getting audience reaction to the good old guys, Summer of War. Number 13, up five positions this week. Earlier in 1970, this Texas singer enjoyed a four-week run with a number one hit called Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head. You know who I'm talking about, right? This song was his fourth top 20 hit. It was a tune written by the great songwriting team of Barry Mann and Cynthia Wilde, and it would hit number nine on Scepter Records, up five positions, as we said, to number 13 this week. B.J. Thomas, and I just can't help believing. I just can't help believing when she says oldies all summer long. The top 20 hits of August 8, 1970. Number 12, jumping up 10 big positions. This tune was the one and only chart appearance by this British quartet. It was a song written by group leader Ray Mungo Dorset, and it made it to number three on Janice Records in the summertime. I'm Rock and Roll from 1970 on CBS FM, the Golden 101. Number 12 on our August the 8, 1970 countdown of the top 20 hits of that date.
over 7923K Rock. Don't talk about Robin, but uh, as you know, we are here. Year of, uh, well, great summertime, obviously, but also a year of the Vietnam War. And this singer from Cleveland, Ohio, had his first top 20 hit in 1969 with a thing called 25 Miles. The next year, 1970, he hit with this song, a war protest song, a tune written by Norman Whitfield and Barrett Strong. It would go all the way to number one for three weeks. It was on Gordy Records, and it moves up one position this week to number 11, Edwin Starr and War. What a classic, huh? Blues image and ride, Captain Ride. Bought us hit from 22 years ago today, August 8, 1970. On CBS FM, the Golden 101.1. Mark Summers in the Top 20 Countdown. Gene Chandler. About a girl. CBS FM remembers 1970. CBS FM, the goal to 101.1, taking you back 22 years ago today, August the 8th, 1970, on CBS FM, the goal to 101.1. That's the assembled multitude with a bonus hit from uh, this week, August 8th. And uh, with the assembled multitude there, that is the uh, overture from Tommy, a knockoff of the uh, Who's Tommy album. This is Mark Summers on the Golden 101. We'll continue with the Top 20 Countdown from 22 years ago today with a soul group out of Chicago coming up next with song number 10. Down the beach. Surf's up. Right outside Beverly Hills. I bet that's a great place to meet, guys. These college freshmen are about to go to school in paradise. No parents, no curfews. You'll be just standing in our way. Together with friends. Hi. I'm back. You live across the hall. This is a co-ed dorm. They'll learn more than they ever expected. I'm gonna sleep with you because I love you. I don't want to be afraid. Freshman Dorm premieres Tuesday, August 11th on CBS. If you want to get the jump on fleas this season, here's some very good news. Terminex has just introduced a new three-step system of flea control that will break the flea life cycle, both in your home and on your pets. It's an effective way to control fleas and inhibit their growth. And here's how it works. First, we apply a quick-acting, long-lasting flea treatment with insect growth regulator that kills all adult and pre-adult fleas wherever they are in your home. Second, you get a free flea season supply of flea spray and shampoo that provides the same long-lasting protection for your dog or cat. And third, you have the Terminex guarantee that if the fleas come back, so will Terminex until they're gone. Get all the details on this new guaranteed three-step protection against fleas. Call Terminex for your free pest inspection, and Terminex will be there fast within 24 hours. No ifs, ands, or bugs. Six Flags Great Adventure, the theme park that's bigger than Disneyland and a whole lot closer. Blood, sweat, and tears. Painted pony, let the spinning wheel. Three dog nights. Together live in concert Sunday, August 9th at 8 in the Great Arena. Blood, sweat, and tears. So the concert's free with your park admission. The park's open till 11 p.m., so you can play all day and that night. Blood, sweat, and tears with three dog nights. Dog number 10. This group was out of Chicago, and they had a number of entries on the charts, but this was their one and only one that reached the top 20. It would reach number 8 on Buddha Records, holding steady this week at number 10, the five stair steps. Ooh, child. Child. Top 20 oldies countdown on CBS FM, the Golden 101.1, number 10, Uchao, five stair steps. At number nine this week, dropping one notch. Well, we heard Edwin Starr's War earlier in the countdown. Now, here's another tune written by that same duo, Norman Whitfield and Barrett Strong. It was the 20th top 20 hit for this legendary vocal group, The Temptations and Ball of Confusion. Number nine on our top 20 countdown from 22 years ago today, August 8, 1970. Temptations follow confusion on CBS FM, the Golden 101.1. It's Mark Summerson for Bobby J with the countdown on uh, to Saturday. And tomorrow, Bobby will be back at 5 p.m. He'll have a countdown, too. Let me, let me check real quick and uh, tell you what. 
Uh, he'll be counting down. Oh, Bobby, tomorrow he's going to be counting down the top 20 songs of August 9th, 1961. So you'll want to join him at uh, 5 tomorrow on the Golden 101. 22 years ago on this date, August 8th, 1970, in sports and baseball, the Yankees beat the Detroit Tigers 5-1 to out of Yankee Stadium. The Bronx Bombers collected nine hits in this game, including two by Thurman Munson and one hit by Roy White. Bobby Mercer also got one. And so did Gene Michael, who went on to become Yankees general manager. The win lifts the Yankees to 60 wins and 49 losses on the season. They're in second place in the American League East, eight and a half games behind the Baltimore Orioles. Meanwhile, the Mets lost to the Pittsburgh Pirates 6-1 to at Three River Stadium in Pittsburgh. Right-hander Jim McAndrew gave up nine hits and five runs and took the loss for the Mets. The Mets managed four hits, one hit by uh, Ken Boswell, one by Cleon Jones, one by Jerry Grody, and also a family group out of Gary, Indiana. Debuted on the charts with a number one hit called I Want You Back. They followed that up with a number, number one hit called ABC, and then they hit with this particular song. It also went to number one, spending two weeks at the top of the charts and featuring the lead voice of 12-year-old Michael. It was on Motown Records. <laughs> Top 20 songs of August 8, 1970. Up two positions this week to number seven, a song written and produced by Tommy James. It was the only top 20 hit for this New York City group, peaking at number seven on Roulette Records, Alive and Kicking. Alive and Kicking with song number seven on our Top 20 Countdown, uh, written and produced by Tommy James. Alive and Kicking with Tighter and Tighter on CBS FM, the Golden 101.1. And we continue with our countdown, moving up three positions. Uh, actually, moving down three positions. Get my directions right here. Moving down three positions to number six. Here's a lot of talent on this song. A song written by uh, the very talented Randy Newman. It was the fifth Top 20 hit for this L.A.-based group. And they took it all the way to number one for two uh, big weeks. They were on Dunhill Records. They were the biggest act on Dunhill. Of course, we're talking about Danny, Chuck, and Corey, Three Dog Night, number six this week on the August 8th, 1970 countdown. Mama told me not to come. Oh, those guys made such great music in the 70s. Three Dog Night, Danny, Chuck, and Corey, Mama told me not to come, number six on the top 20 countdown of August 8th, 1970, right here on CBS FM, the Golden 101.1. With Mark Summers in for Bobby J today, we're 23 minutes away from 7 o'clock. Dean Anthony tonight in for Cousin Brucey, right here on the Golden 101.1. You don't want to miss that. Baseball this afternoon, the Mets lost to the Cubbies. They gave it a good try, a pretty good game, but they still come out on the short end of it. At Wrigley Field, it was the Cubs over the Mets, 4-3. to three. The Yankees lost to the Bo Sox at the stadium, 4-2, to two, the final score there. You want a winner? All right. Here it is. An Olympic basketball. Can you guess the final on this? Oh, you heard Tony Warren, huh? Uh, the U.S. Dream Team, 117, Croatia 85. The U.S. Dream Team at number five on our countdown. Down one notch out of the Motor City. Here's Frida Payne and Band of Gold. Listening to the Top 20 Oldies Countdown on CBS FM, the Golden 101 in New York City with Mark Summers in for Bobby J. Frieda Payne and song number five, Band of Gold on CBS FM, number four, up three positions this week. Here's a debut hit for this California group that was led by one-time Animals lead singer Eric Burton. This song would hit number three on MGM Records this week at number four, Eric and War, Spill the Wine. Eric Burton and War, nine, number uh, four in 1970, August 8th on CBS FM, the Golden 101.1. Spill the wine. Don't spill too much of it, though, if it's Pinot Grigio, you know. All right, we continue with the countdown. Up two notches to number three this week. Little Stevie Wonder, first of the charts in 1963, when he took the song Fingertips Part Two all the way to number one. When he had this hit, however, he was little no more. It was his 12th top 20 hit that would peak at number three on Tableau Records. Stevie Wonder, sign sill delivered. Like a fool, I went and stayed too long. 
Well, in 1970, that one made it an even dozen in the top 20 for Stevie Wonder. Here I am, signed, sealed, and delivered number three on our top 20 countdown of the big hits of August 8th, 1970, right here on CBS FM, the Golden 101.1. Mark Severs for Bobby. I have this dream, this little house in Rhinebeck, New York, white with green shutters, big willow tree out front. In my dream, I buy it, quit my job, and just live there. Yes, FM. Number two from August 8th, 1970, David Gates and Bread. This was their first hit, holding steady at number two. It would be their biggest. Make it with you on the Golden 101.1. David Gates and Brad, number two this week. Make it with you from August 8th, 1970. The Top 20 Countdown with Mark Summers in for Bobby J. Bobby returns tomorrow with the Top 20 Countdown of the uh, Top 20 Songs of August 9th, 1961 at 5 o'clock. So you join Bobby then right here on the Golden 101.1. All right, on August the 8th of 1970, here are the top five albums in the nation. Number five, Paul McCartney's album entitled McCartney. And number four was self portrait by Bob Dylan. Number three, a great album, Cosmos Factory, uh, John C. Fogarty and CCR. Number two, Blood, Sweat and Tears, three. And number one, the Woodstock soundtrack from August 8th, 1970, the top five albums. We have reached the point where it is time for Mark to go. Uh, Dean Anthony coming up in the uh, Cousin Brucey show tonight with more of your favorite oldies for a Saturday night in New York City. And we're going to do the number one song now. And I will catch you. Let's see. I won't be in on my show tomorrow. I'll be in for Gary's show. You've got to have a program this weekend to keep up with everything that's going on. I'll be in at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. So join me then. Now, this song was number one last week. It retains that position this week at number one, a song that would enjoy a four-week stay at the top. It was the first top 20 hit for this brother and sister duo from New Haven, Connecticut, and it was a tune penned by Burt Bacharach and Hal David on A&M Records, the number one song from August 8th, 1970. Richard and Karen Carpenter, and they long to be close to you. Have a great night. Bye, y'all. Why do birds...